Though Philippine city volunteers joined the reopening of three schools that were devastated by Typhoon Haiyan, China city volunteers in Beijing hold a child development class where children learn about life education and dining etiquette. Welcome to Dial Headlines. I'm Helen Nair. Thank you for joining us. Recently in the Philippines, the prefabricated classroom at the Valencia Central School in Oromok City and the Kananga Central School in Lake Province were officially opened. But first, let's go to the University of the Philippines Manila School of Health Science to see how students there joined the construction team in setting up the prefab buildings. City volunteers put safety helmets on faculty members and students who are here to help the construction team set up the prefabricated classrooms. Students of the University of the Philippines Manila School of Health Science listen attentively to the volunteers' instructions. As the school's building was damaged beyond repair, volunteers decided to set up prefect classrooms to help students continue on with their studies. In total, Tsuji built 11 prefect buildings, 5 for classrooms and 6 for dormitories. The volunteers also brought portable beds to help students get a good night's sleep. Classes officially resumed on February 17th. The lighting inside each classroom is powered by solar panels, which were also donated by Tsuji. Personally participating in the construction, the students cherish their accomplishment. Later, a volunteer hands over a prefect classroom model to a school official, symbolizing the success of Tsuji's mission here. The Tsuji Foundation, thank you for letting us continue our dreams. And you will be forever in our hearts, and you will be forever grateful to Salamat and more, more blessings and power. Yes. Later, the students give flowers to each member of the construction team and join in song to express their thanks. Meanwhile, at the Valencia Central School of Omar, students are bathing in the festive atmosphere as they celebrate the completion of their prefect classrooms. And for the volunteers, the students' cards are all the things they need. Suji helped us a lot. Now I can continue my studies. In Leyte province, a ceremony is held to celebrate the handover of 12 prefect classrooms to the Kananga Central School. The lively dancing highlights the perseverance and vitality of the Filipinos who with the volunteers' love and care will soon find their lives return to normal. Also in the Philippines, it has been more than three months since the country was devastated by Typhoon Haiyan. However, the city foundation are still providing mid to long term assistance to the hot hit areas. To reciprocate city's kindness, many Tagloban residents have started practicing recycling and donating their recyclables to the Buddhist NGO to pay the love forward. Recycling volunteers visit Tagloban residents door to door to pick up recyclables. Upon seeing the volunteers, many residents come out of their home with bags of plastic bottles and cans to donate. When I saw the volunteers collecting recyclables, I decided to contribute by donating my recyclables. I want to help the city volunteers spread their environmental concepts far and wide. I want to help because plastic bottles can be transformed into city's eco-friendly blankets. In the aftermath of Typhoon Haiyan, Many areas in Tagloban City were left severely damaged. Thankfully, with Tsuji's help, residents' lives have slowly returned to normal. Inspired by Tsuji's recycling efforts, many locals have also decided to contribute their share. We are here to pass on our environmental message to local residents. I told them that by collecting recyclables, they can save our planet. We also taught them how to sort their garbage into the right categories. 
Knowing the difference that they can make by practicing recycling, many Haiyan survivors decided to reciprocate Suji's love by safeguarding our Mother Earth. In Malaysia's Malacca to mark the birth of Lord Murugan, thousands of followers gather at a Murugan temple in Cheng to celebrate the occasion. Knowing that the celebration tends to create large amounts of litter, city volunteers join hands with the event organizers in setting up a recycling booth to encourage participants to sort their recyclables. To celebrate the birth of Lord Morgan, devotees gather outside of a Hindu temple in Malacca's Chung, waiting for the palanquin with the statue of Lord Morgan to pass by. Knowing that the occasion tends to produce large amounts of litter, Malacca city volunteers join the event by picking up and sorting any recyclables they find. I'm very happy and proud to make sure to volunteer to make sure that our people also follow the Suchi as to do the recycling to keep the environment clean and save the world. For three years now, city volunteers can be seen picking recyclables throughout the celebration. Touched by volunteer selfless dedication, starting from last year, Suji was given a booth where volunteers can better introduce environmental topics to attendees. Last year, they used styrofoam containers to serve food. We told them that styrofoam is not that eco-friendly and encouraged them to stop using it. They agreed and used paper bags this year. With more people joining the parade in the evening, the palanquin is constantly surrounded by devotees. Meanwhile, city volunteers go around food stalls picking up litter. It was very tiring, but I'm extremely happy because I know that our efforts can help the planet become a cleaner place. Thanks to volunteers' effort, the parade venue is clean and tidy once again, and everyone goes home with peace and harmony in their hearts. Moving to Malaysia's Kadar, we meet city care recipient Hamid bin Murad, who fell from a tree years ago, leaving him paralyzed from the waist down and unemployed. However, with city volunteers' monthly subsidies and continuous care, Hamid's family was able to get through the difficult times and now gives back to the society through donating to city's bamboo coin bank. Sitting in a wheelchair and sharing his life story with students, Sijikia recipient Hami bin Murad is all smiles and confident. However, 20 years ago, he was not as cheerful as he is now. I was injured and paralyzed from the fall. The insurance didn't cover it because it was my negligence. I was so worried about my children's future that I cried for two months. Thanks to Tsuji's financial and emotional support, the family of five was able to get through these times of difficulty. Tsuji volunteers do not differentiate between ethnicities and religions when helping people. In Malay, Tsuji has the same pronunciation as sacredness, meaning pure and untainted. Now Hamid's children have left home and started their own family. With less burden on their shoulders, the couple often donate money they earned in the market to help those in greater need. I would like to donate my bamboo coin bank, even though the amount is not much. Helping the less fortunate makes Hamid joyous from within. <laughs> Learning of his life story, we should complain less. Seeing their hardship, you know there are more needy people out there, living in desperate conditions. Getting through the hardship in life, Hamid and his family have found a brighter future ahead. In Indonesia, we meet 71-year-old city volunteer Lu Chunmei. Nine years ago, Lu learned of the city foundation through watching Dai TV and was inspired to join the Buddhist NGO. Now she is seen every day at the local recycling station making meals for her fellow volunteers. This is Lu Chunmei, a 71-year-old senior who makes good use of her days as she works on behalf of Tsuji to care for those in greater need. Seeing the less fortunate, Lu has learned to cherish her own blessings. Recently, she decided to donate 330 US dollars of her pension to help the needy. After we die, we cannot take anything with us. I believe that Master Zhen Yan can relieve people all over the world from suffering, so I made donations to Tsuji. Nine years ago, Lu learned of the charity organization through Dai TV. Since then, she has become devoted to Tsuji's missions. 
Before I headed out, I tell my husband, boss, I'm heading out to do Tsuji work. And he would nod with a smile, showing his support. After her husband's passing a year ago, Lu goes to the recycling station on a daily basis to help prepare snacks and lunches for her fellow volunteers. I know little about Chinese, yet I understand what Master Zhen Yan is trying to say, especially the message of recycling. When the Master says, PET bottles are recyclable, everybody starts collecting them. Thanks to Ziji, Lu Chun Mei spends her retirement years in a meaningful and splendid way. At the Taoyuan Veterans Home in Taiwan lives 85-year-old Grandpa Shen Rong, who is also a Tsuji recycling volunteer. Aware of his sense of responsibility and his passion for helping others, the home has set up a small home appliance repair station for Shen to better help his fellow veterans. It's 4.30 in the morning, but Grandpa Shen Rong is already up. After freshening up, the next thing he does is give his wife a call. Not wanting to be a burden, the senior has decided to live apart from his wife and children. However, despite his age, Grandpa Shen works hard to keep in shape. In the light of dawn, Grandpa Shen begins his morning workout session. I do a 30-minute workout. I start at around 5.10 and finish around 5.40. As a former military man, Grandpa Shen is very particular about time management. Although 85, he has kept up with the times. From smartphones to laptops and video games, nothing baffles him. Over the years, apart from practicing recycling at Tsuji, the senior also helps repair electrical equipment at the veterans' home free of charge. He is always willing to help and do the repairs free of charge. So we set up a little repair station for him. Even for the elderly, time is precious. If we can be of service to others and help them, why not? Grandpa Shen's spirit is what makes his life bright and full of color. In Taiwan, to help patients who are in a persistent vegetative state with their teeth cleaning, Central Tima members and city volunteers recently held a dental-free clinic at the Taichung Branch Care Home run by the Genesis Social Welfare Foundation. Here's more. City volunteers braved the rain to move dental equipment into the Taichung Branch Care Home established by the Genesis Social Welfare Foundation. After everything is set up, the nurse leads the volunteers to move patients to the cleaning station so dentists can start their work. Volunteers help comfort and hold patients' heads still so that dentists can concentrate on cleaning. I pat him on the head or hold his hand, and I tell them not to be nervous and just comfort them when it does hurt. In total, 22 Central Tima members and Tsuji volunteers visited the care home in Taichung to clean the residents' teeth. Among the volunteers is first-timer Dr. Sun Yu Ting from Zhongshan Medical University Hospital. This event gives me the feeling that doctors are really treating patients or curing their sickness. It makes me happy that I can assist so many people and I have learned a lot. This free clinic not only safeguards patients' oral health, but also inspires further compassion from those on the giving end. In China's Beijing, city volunteers recently held a child development class where children learn about life education and proper dining etiquette. Many parents say their children have shown great improvements since joining the class. Here at the city child development class, children strike up a bad habit through a game of tin and bowling. 
有的时候我一见到这好多小朋友都不喜欢跟我玩了。对，嗯、那你准备怎么样打掉这个骄傲的小恶魔？就是以后我想骄傲的时候就克制住自己。太棒了！ When we were in class, we used the bowling ball to strike out all the little rascals inside the bottle. That little evil demon is called Lying. 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 Not our mouth to the food. We should lift the dessert off our plate with a fork and then put it into our mouth. Working together, each team tries to build a tower out of paper. An error in judgment or overexertion of force will send all the efforts toppling. Only those who don't give up can prevail. Since joining the class, my kids now automatically help around the house. They will help clean the house and wash the dishes. They'll even get upset if they don't get to wash the dishes. Both teachers and parents play equally important roles in nurturing the young, and these Tsuji developmental classes have given these children a good start in life. In Malaysia's Penang, we meet Tsuji after school program student Yao Siyu and find out how she earns enough self-evaluation points to fulfill her wish of visiting the local dialysis center where she accompanies patients for a day. 499, to earn the privilege to visit the dialysis center, students from the Tsuji after school program performs various tasks. To accumulate points. The points are self-given for tasks such as washing dishes, folding laundry or doing homework. Our hope is that when children learn to take care of themselves, they will then have the ability to take care of others in the future. These two siblings are very serious about their points, especially the older sister, who really wants the opportunity to go. I was scared I didn't have enough points, then I counted and I really didn't have enough to go. As it turns out, Yao Si Yu's self-evaluation chart is filled with zeros. She's pretty hard on herself. For example, while doing homework, she chats a little bit with other students. Then she will give herself a zero that day. Seeing how hard Si Yu was on herself, her teachers awarded her with enough points to fulfill her wish of visiting the dialysis center. I want to thank my teachers for giving me the final 100 points so that I could go to the dialysis center. Besides willing their love where needed, the self-discipline these children have acquired has boosted their odds of success in the future. In the United States, though the city of Minneapolis in Minnesota was recently hit by massive snowstorms, Tsuji volunteers were determined in bringing their nearest blessing ceremony to members of their community. But first, we join volunteers in Melbourne, Australia, who also put together a spring festival as well as a garage sale at their local office. <laughs> Here at the New Year's Blessing Ceremony in Melbourne, Australia, besides the familiar faces from the Chinese community, members of the public are also here to participate. Tsuji volunteers put on the sound language musical of the Sutra of Innumerable Meanings and also presents participants with the blessing and wisdom read in the lobes. Inside the garage, volunteers provide medical checkups and sell recycled items and jinsu products to raise funds for those in need. By cultivating blessings, Melbourne residents are ready for a year filled with spirituality and wisdom.
also putting on the sign language performance of the Sutra of Innumerable Meanings are U.S. city volunteers in the city of Minneapolis in Minnesota. Despite the snow and poor weather conditions, volunteers still hold their spring festival celebration, during which they reflect on city's work worldwide over the past year. Ziqing Chen Tianjia, who joined the Buddhist NGO with her parents when she was young, says she has gained much wisdom from the events. I have already been on the vegetarian diet for two years now. Through the process of volunteering myself, I have felt immense fulfillment within. I repent for not doing more. The director of the Midwest Minnesota Buddhist Association is also present to share his experience. How do we cultivate good merit all the time? It is not about how and where we do it, but to seize each moment to do good deeds. Sincere prayer, volunteers and participants all pray for a world free from disasters. In Taiwan, over the weekend at Taichung's Fengyuan Jing Si Hall, a charity sale was held to raise funds for Typhoon Haiyan survivors in the Philippines. Let's take a look. We are selling cones here. Our brothers grew and cooked these cones themselves. Over there, we have organic vegetarian food and fresh cabbage. Warmly introducing all the items on sale at each of the over 40 stores, city volunteers in Taizong's Fengyuan Jing Si Hall are holding a charity sale to raise funds for Typhoon Haiyan survivors. Everyone has the will to make it happen and assist our international relief mission. That's why we are all very happy to give. As long as there's a will, there's a way. Amid the lively atmosphere of the store selling sushi and sticky rice balls are the most popular. For the food that doesn't expire quickly, we pre-ordered them. However, sticky rice needs to be steamed first, so we started doing that on Friday evening. Volunteers from Fengyuan, Houli and Dongsi all arrived early in the morning to assist in the preparation work. This is a meaningful event, so we are here to participate. Volunteers and members of the public alike all want to do what they can to raise more funds to help high-end survivors rebuild their homes as soon as possible. We go to Taiwan's Zhanghua at the end of the show. During the Yuan Shao Festival, Lu Gang City volunteers seize the opportunity to encourage members of the public to practice environmentalism and recycle their unused batteries. We will leave you with these images. Thank you for tuning in. Goodbye.